Let's learn how to use the function generator on the NI MyDAG. As we're getting started here, we'll be concentrating our attention on analog output zero. It's important to remember that this is limited to plus and minus 10 volts maximum output voltage and two milliamps for maximum current drive. I'm using the loopback connections here so I can watch the analog outputs on the analog inputs. We'll be using the oscilloscope to confirm the operation of the function generator. All right, let's start up the function generator. We have three basic wave shapes, sine, triangle, and square wave. You can adjust the frequency, amplitude, and offset. You can also do automatic sweeps and it's important to remember that you only have access to analog output zero. As I mentioned, I'll use the oscilloscope to view the output of the function generator. All right, presently generating a 100 hertz sinusoid. And at this point, I'm just changing the weight of peers on the oscilloscope. Now I can choose my different wave shapes back here on the function generator. Let's go ahead and stabilize the display using edge triggering. Right now I'm triggering at a threshold of zero volts. All right, let's try changing the frequency on the function generator. Of course, we've got high frequencies, low frequencies, everything in between. Can manipulate the amplitude. Amplitude is listed in volts peak to peak. That means from the very bottom of the waveform to the very top of the waveform. So let me adjust the way the waveform appears back on the oscilloscope. So four volts peak to peak. I'm at one volt per division right now. So I have one, two, three, four volts total. So that's four volts peak to peak. Actually, if you highlight a digit of interest and then use the arrow keys, that gives you another way of specifying a value. Now 10 volts peak to peak essentially uses half of the available signal range for the analog output. Right now we're at five volts per division. That's one division, so it's showing five volts for the maximum amplitude. Let me adjust the DC offset. This is shifting the waveform up. I can also shift it down. And so at this extreme, again at five volts per division, it says we see the minimum voltage is minus 10 volts. At the other extreme, we see the maximum voltage is 10 volts. Again, that's the analog output limitation.